What's up guys, so just before we get into this tutorial here We just need a big shout out to the guy here, Danny, because we are using his images this time So if you guys like his style, I'll be putting all of his links down in the description So go check him out down there Really, really awesome portraits guys And then he sells his presets as well Very warm, very awesome So links to his presets as well will be down in the description Or you can come over and click here So yeah, very awesome style over here as well guys Come over, check them out if you like, before and after and the person that uses these gold and blue tones really well is Short Stash here, so I'll link him below as well, but he gets these really nice blue tones in the shadows and those nice golden tones through the mid-tones and highlights. Okay, let's get into these gold and blue tones. So first thing I'll do is I'll probably up the exposure, get us kind of close to where we want to get. So I'll go about there, contrast up a touch bring the highlights all the way down and then shadows up a bit so we're really flattening the image and then I'm going to add in quite a few curves because they're a really key part to achieving this style uh, whites I'll come down a bit we want that flat style bringing that down and then blacks so really washing out the image at the moment okay so Moving on from this section, we're going to go into the curves, and this is what the curves look like before you do them. And I just skipped ahead and just did the curves for you guys, so that's what they look like. They're quite hard to do, so I just thought I'd skip ahead for you guys, but that's what they look like. And if we go back and carry on with this edit, so we can move on to colors now. So over here, what we'll do is just lower the temperature a bit. We look a little too warm, and it sort of gives off a little too many greens. So about there is good, maybe a bit more. Touch more. Okay, so vibrance we're gonna bring up a lot. Let's go with 45 there. And let's bring down saturation a bit. Right, so let's get on to the main part, maybe the split toning. So if we go to effects, hit split toning, we're gonna add heaps of warmth into the highlights here. So uh, let's choose a hue of 50, so a nice orange and a saturation of about 27. And then as for shadows, we wanna add in lots of blues into the shadows and they'll really complement those warm goldish highlights that we've got. So a hue of about, one, two, eight, and 55 saturation. Let's roll with that. And now a really key part is shifting the balance. So we wanna introduce more of those warm tones into the image and keep those blues into the shadows. Okay, sweet. Now let's fine tune some colors. Let's go to uh, color, mix, and individually affect these colors let's start with orange and if we just bring this slightly towards a red and let's up the saturation of those won't mess around with luminance too much so let's just go on to the yellows now let's really warm this up to an orange this is really key to get those nice golden colors saturation down a touch and then let's go to the greens and also this is very key to really warm up those greens and let's just bring down their saturation though when you desaturate the greens they go in almost blue okay that looks good and let's keep going let's try the teals so I'm gonna make sure they're a deep blue, not too much of a teal. Let's go about 80, and then bring down the saturation. And then as for blues, we want to make these ones a teal, 
but bring down the saturation a lot and um, hues, hues for the purple and magentas don't really matter we're just going to bring down their saturation a bit quite often those colors aren't in the image very much and then uh, as for red we want nice orange skin tones so we're going to go a little way this way towards the oranges and we're going to bring up their saturation okay so that's looking really good now we've got pretty much all our colors there now just like detail and stuff sharpening i'm going to bring down a bit just for um i like a natural look so bring down the sharpening keeps those natural the natural texture to the image a lot optics enable profile corrections if you don't like the vignetting and we are about good if we just come down we can add in some grain as well okay and that looks really really good that's our final result there i'd maybe mess around with the temperature again and just warm it up slightly maybe up to about there and i think that looks really really good guys we're about done and if we want to try this on other images okay so it's key to make your presets work in different lighting scenarios so here's another image but what i'll do now that i've applied those settings just from the previous edit is bring down the exposure and you can see that really brings back a lot of those blues and stuff like that now I'd maybe brighten our subject with some filters and stuff like that but I think we're about good or maybe slight, slightly bring up the highlights there bring her out a bit more but you can see those golden and blue tones really in this image and it looks great so let's try another image okay so we've applied this one again and this is what we look like before we, we apply the settings from our first edit and then again if we apply I think we're a bit too bright again let's drop it down and then you'd maybe want to mess with um, um, the warmth and the temperature and the split toning there just to get the right amount of blues and golds but I reckon that looks really really good okay so applying the settings from our first edit again and what we'll do is bring down the exposure again and we're about good pretty much every time we're about good I'd probably go um, over to color mix oranges and bring down the saturation of some of those oranges or yellows probably the yellows in this case um, yeah or the reds but yeah i think we look really really good there maybe bring down the temperature but uh depends what you like okay here's another one from our first edit and as you can see it's too bright again let's bring that down and it's probably too too much uh warmth so i'd go uh, into color temperature and just bring it down a bit and that'll bring out a bit more of those blues and um yeah it would cool it out uh, balance up the image a bit keep those warm highlights keep those cool shadows and if we went to split turning real quick fix split turning I'd maybe play around with the balance as well so I'd maybe shift it a bit across pushing those shadows into a bit more um, of a blue keeping them in the darker shadows okay so we look pretty good straight off there's our before and after of just a preset there um, and then back we look really really good maybe down the exposure again and then you could mess around with the temperature again but i think that looks really good just applying it and yeah we'll just leave it there guys hope you like this one catch you in the next one